Welcome back to the channel guys. So in today's video we're finishing the rear long travel IRS on my 670cc Chinese off-road buggy. In case you haven't seen this is the buggy that I wrecked and broke my leg in a few months ago but we're all good now. It's getting cold outside and winter is right around the corner so I'm really trying to focus in and get everything done and perfect. But anyways we got some pretty cool stuff in this video. Let's get right to it. So in the previous video we worked on the left side so now we're going to go ahead and move everything over to the right side and then work on strengthening and reinforcing everything. So let's get this done. Check this out guys, we got both sides identical, it looks really crazy and awesome, I'm really happy with that. But anyways, we're going to get started on these control arms. The left and right ones will be different, mainly because of the torque converter. You'll see what I'm talking about in a bit. I will be reinforcing these bottom arms way more. What I want to do is get some shimp. What I really want to do is get some sheet metal and dimple dye it, but that would be in the future. We're probably going to throw some more supports on it and see how it turns out. This video is proudly sponsored by Cove. Cove sent me their awesome Bluetooth commuter speaker and I've been using it for several weeks and I have no complaints. It's very durable, water resistant and the battery lasts up to 8 hours. I really dig this adjustable volume slider. In here up top you can also swipe your songs away which I think is very cool. This speaker is perfect if you're working in the shop, going camping, it's pretty much universal. And the reviews on this thing speak for themselves. The best part about this is that Cove is giving you guys 65% off. Use the code VCB65. Check the link down in the description and copy one of these. But I gotta give a big thanks to Cove for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to work. So we 
got our torque converter installed. So check this out guys, we got the wheels on and this thing looks super aggressive. However, we do have a little problem. The problem is that with these 12 inch rims, we won't be able to clear the brake calipers. As you can see, it's a super tight fit. I'm going to get the same style rims, just two inches bigger. And then for the tire, I actually can't go too big. I'm going to stick with the 27. Since we have no differential, I do want to get the tires a little bit skinnier. This is going to set me back like 300, 400 bucks, but it is what it is. There isn't like a universal standard for building something like this. It all depends on the builder. So this is my personal preference. On the plus side, we will have an extra tire that we can mount as a spare, so that's good. So I just thought up of a solution. I'm actually going to be deleting this. So I took some time on camera to really focus in on the suspension. Turns out that the CV axle was just too far in. So we pushed it out a little bit and it seems to have perfect travel. Now in the previous video I did say there was 17 inches of up and down. But what I forgot to say is that we will be limited by the shocks. And someone pointed out you don't really want to flex these CVs too much. So we'll probably have like 10 to 12 inches of travel depending on our shocks. But still that's very good better than a stock three inches it was actually probably more like two i've tack welded the shock i'm concerned it's kind of too small and weak so i'm going to go ahead and drop this buggy down and observe everything yeah that's way too soft so we could try putting it right here and see what that does Right, moment of truth. Yeah, still too soft. Even with the pivot point moved all the way forward. I mean, I kind of knew that. I guess we're gonna have to wait till the paycheck hits and buy some nice shocks. Probably King coilovers or FOA. And plus, it just kind of looks weak. Check that out. No binding, super smooth. We got the suspension pretty much done. Before we get it 100%, we gotta wait for our shocks and our wheels just to kinda plan everything out. But yeah, I am really happy with that. So now I'm gonna start working on the jack shaft setup and then a few other important things. Let's get to work. We did get the jack shaft tack welded and I'm thinking I'm going to scoot it back a little bit farther but I just wanted to check and see how everything moves. Now a jack shaft will be absolutely necessary for this build. It's going to let us run crazy gear ratios for crawling. I would like to make a high and low mode in the future. There is actually a pretty simple way of doing that which I'll show you in a couple videos from now. 
when I had the 22s on there it topped off at 40 miles per hour and it would power slide and drift like crazy that was at 6 to 1 we're gonna be running 9 to 1 with bigger tires so we should see around 35 miles per hour maybe my main target is just gonna be 0 to 20 occasionally might be able to hit 30 40 50 so I'm gonna stop this episode here I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm gonna have to order some coilover shocks some new wheels and also I need your advice on a few things check this out now I'm concerned with this master cylinder if it will have the capacity to push all four of these brakes so what I want to do is set up like a drift lever or a hydro e-brake and just hook up the two rear brakes to that either way the brakes on this thing will not be a slouch in the next video I want to get started on the front suspension and probably changing it over to Himes extending it a little bit upgrading the front brakes uh, Moto Mule cut out some rotors for me like I said new wheels new shocks we got to order a billet flywheel, billet rods, redo our exhaust and our intake manifold. So yeah, lots of stuff coming. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Go ahead and smash that like button down below. We hit our like goal on the last video, so let's go for 2500 again. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe with post notifications. Some important updates. I am working on a finale video for my KX250 shifter cart. It's going to take a few weeks to film, I still got to put it back together, hire some people to help me film, but it's going to be epic. I'll be turboing that thing in a few weeks, I'll have my tool video up, scooter video, CR500 in a few weeks, so lots of stuff to come guys. But yeah, I'll have to see you in the next video, stay tuned for more, and God bless.